So what skills and knowledge are you looking for in the contractor that you hire? Well, the most basic one is they need to be able to run wires uh, to any location. Um, and the reason is that if a speaker needs to be here, but that guy can only place the speaker wire right here, then there could be a huge difference. So you want the speaker to be in the correct location. So running the wire is very important without having to cut unnecessary holes. Uh, but more important uh, would be uh, that the contractor that you hire knows how the sound wave work, how far they can travel. Is it high frequency, low frequencies you're looking after? How, where will the sound uh, touch the wall and bounce back? Uh, how many times is it gonna bounce before it gets to you? Uh, what's the time uh, between the first time you hear something to the last time you hear the same thing? Uh, your ears, if it's done correctly, your ears will not notice that there's a time delay or there's a little bit of reverberation. But if, if you have a good ear, you will notice that you call it distortion. So it's important that you get that right. Uh, uh, on the video side, you need to know that the best screen size is not the biggest that you can place on that wall. It, uh, you have to uh, know that there's uh, a calculation done. So talk to your contactor, ask him what screen size is best for this. And then if the answer is uh, it's just a number, it's 120 inch, 133 inch, then that's probably not filled with knowledge. Uh, you have to know more. If they ask you, well, because uh, uh, the sitting distance, then I wanna uh, uh, aim for this angle of view or uh, I need to uh, put it a little bit higher, things like that. Those are indications that they know how to calculate the proper screen size. You don't want it to be too big, you don't want it to be too small. So those are uh, three skills and knowledge that uh, your contactors need to have.